Welcome back to It's Chow Time Pod. It's your host, Red. I got another compilation video for you guys. It's um, another uh, women appreciating men. Um, if you guys can, I would love for a subscribe and a like down below. I'd really appreciate that. Um, let's get to it. It's Chow Time, guys. Men. I love men. I do not believe in gender wars. I love men. I will uh, go make you a sandwich and do the dishes. <laughs> I love men, and I am not being forced to say this right now. Is she sure I about love this? Men. <laughs> I have never been happier or more confident than when I worked at a homeless shelter for all male veterans. Interesting. I okay. I realized this isn't just me. I was just listening to a podcast that said women who work in male dominated fields rank higher for levels of self confidence simply because they're just getting more attention. I find this absolutely hilarious. That's interesting. When I first interviewed there and I learned it was an all-male shelter, I was like, I don't know if I can handle this. Like, I was concerned for my own safety. But then it turned out to be the best job I ever had. And every single time I would show up to work, they would get so excited. And I'm glad that she had a really great experience. And talk to me. And they were so nice to me. Yeah. And I realized I think now most that men appreciate women in many ways. Amount of even if they're homeless and down and out. at work makes you more confident in every single area of your life i have never i'm glad she was able to actually experience that that was really sweet of her to mention that reason number 27 why i love men is because half of the time that they make you laugh they're not even trying to make you laugh they're just trying to entertain themselves and if you happen to laugh then you happen to laugh oh. that's cute yeah. <laughs> Reason number 776 why I love working with men all day. The guy I'm working with was like, what happened to your family? Why are they all dead? So I'm like, okay, I tell him. And he's like, so what you're saying is there's a 47% chance you're a murderer? Damn, 40% like, really chance is high. That way, but I guess, yeah, sure. And he's like, that's the hottest, most <laughs> kinky thing I've ever heard. Oh, uh, thirsty men. Thirsty men. Right right. Ladies, you out here loving these men too much. You love them so much that you start ignoring their truths and yep. putting your fairy tales on them. You got to ask yourself, do you really love the man that this man is? Or do you love what's inside of your imagination about Damn. him? She's spitting facts right now. The potential or loving your expectations of him. He might not ever live up to that. <laughs> you got to accept him for who he is. Just the way you want him to love you for who you are. Let me tell you something I know for sure. When you show a man how much you appreciate him, not by buying him something, not by telling the world like I'm doing now, but <laughs> the little things. She knows. So, for instance, I'm home, it's Saturday, and I go so much between my job, the relationship counseling, the videos, everything that I do. I'm just tired and I need rest. My voice is hoarse. And he said, I'm going to run our errands. I'm going to take care of everything we got to do. You just lay in the bed. You just take care of yourself today. Just chill. And good man. Good doing. man. But I called him and I just told him I appreciate it. I appreciate him thinking about the fact that I need rest and he's going to handle everything else. And I told him I love him to the utmost because I need this. And he went. <laughs> you tell him, girl. Oh, baby. You Even tell your man. I changed my order 50 million times while he, he's at the restaurant. <laughs> he didn't get so I'm going to show him uh... how much I appreciate him when he comes back. You ever ask a man how he's doing and he says, I'm all right. Mm. I'm here to tell you, that man is not all right. That man is battling demons that you cannot even possibly imagine. That man is agree. struggling every single day to find a reason to keep going. And the reason we say we're all right is because as a man, nobody really fucking cares what you're yeah. going through. He's not wrong. So why even bother to say it? Even our family members really don't care. I feel you, brother. Because uh, I'm alright too. No I love Kim. Uh, I, I, I love her videos. She's definitely someone that really does appreciate men and is trying husband. to. Put that energy out there for other women. Our daughter, back in 2015, she was 16 years old. 
he pushed that grief so far down deep inside because he wanted to make sure I was okay. He wanted to make sure our other three daughters were okay. He was just amazing. But he should have been allowed to grieve too. I know this and feeling. Did I'm going through it right him, now. He didn't get it because he felt like he needed to make sure we were fine. But I 100% agree. Anybody. He was catering to the needs of me and our other three daughters so much that it was a year before he started grieving. We have got to help our men and encourage them to get the help that they need because they deserve it too. My 16 year old was his best friend and he should have been able to grieve. I appreciate every man who has ever made that kind of sacrifice. I love it. Men make these kind of sacrifices all the time. I tell her I love her too. Uh, I appreciate that she appreciates us for trying to hold everything in and just trying to keep the family together when these types of things happen. It's, it's definitely hard. Uh, something I'm going through right now and, uh, I don't wish to show my family what I feel and how I do things and the things I have to handle for them. And it's, it's, it's really tough. It's probably one of the toughest things I've done in my whole life right now. So, I mean, to all the men out there that are in the same boat, taking care of loved ones while another loved one passes away. I'm proud of you. At the bottom of my heart, I'm proud of you guys. Keep it up. One day, you will Sorry, I'm a little emotional, guys. Sorry. So much that, he that one got me home. That one hit home he for me. He will be the one crying and he will be the one happy with someone else. One day, you will regret losing him. You lost the man who did everything for you. You lost the man who was always there for you when no one else is. You lost him because of your ridiculous attitude, your never-ending issues that you don't want to face, your ego. You lost the man who stayed by your side even if you threw harsh words to him. The man who tried to understand you when he needed you and you were not there. One day, you will realize he was the one for you. The man who always stood by your side even if you don't appreciate him. One day you will see him happy. She's spinning a lot of facts right here. I hope a lot of women realize this before it's too late for them. I think being lonely is it's a difficult thing for anyone. Uh, this is the last video is for the men out there that don't hear these types of things too often. The appreciation, the I love you, that you're the man and you're doing the right thing. You are. If the people around you are not telling you, I'm telling you. Keep it up. Be strong. And keep grinding. How'd you guys like that, Chow? It was uh, definitely something uh, I think a lot of us needed. I needed to hear that sometimes, too. I mean, I'm going through some things and just hearing some of these videos make me process things differently, too. You know, um... As what Kim was saying, we hold a lot of things in and we have to be strong for the people around us. And I don't know if it, those people actually see what we do or not and what we try to do for them. But I see those things and I appreciate you guys for doing those things. You have no idea how much you guys are helping out your family members and your loved ones for being as strong as you guys are. I'm very proud of men that can handle things this way. Showing emotions is, is nothing wrong with it, but you don't want to break down in front of your loved ones because they're going to break down. And it, I feel like it's a cascading effect when the man of the family or the, the top person that everyone kind of looks up to starts breaking down it just makes things tough for everyone around them so i understand why people do i mean not people but men do what they do and i wish more women appreciated this all right uh, i mean sorry for being a little emotional on this video uh, i love you guys and uh it's chow time <laughs>